Good morning guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I think today is going to be the day where we start preparing the Evo 10 motor for a rebuild. We do have quite a bit of stuff to get done, but the very first thing I wanna do and the first thing I always do when preparing for a motor rebuild is get every single part that goes into the motor fully cleaned and prepped for assembly. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So here is all the parts for my Evo 10, right? We got the tranny, a bunch of accessories, intake, turbo kit, intercooler, all this good stuff down here. And then up on this table right here is all the important stuff for the motor. So we got block, crank, the cradle, pistons and rods, oil pan, oil pump, water pump, valve cover. All the stuff right here is for the motor, which we need to get all of that cleaned up. The process I will be using to clean up all these parts is this hot cleaner right here. So it's half degrees or half water and it's heated so it cleans super well. And then to rinse them off, I'll be using just some fresh water out of the sink here. Followed by that, I will be blowing them off with compressed air just so we don't have any rust that forms on the parts. One thing I would highly, highly recommend doing is when you're cleaning stuff and you're using crazy chemicals, make sure you're wearing a set of gloves. I use these rubber gloves right here from Harbor Freight, just, a, just like a part store near me. And then I would also highly recommend wearing a mask. I know it may look kind of goofy, but you're probably gonna look pretty goofy when you're laying in bed, like overdosed on chemicals in your freaking brain. So wear a mask, guys. Let's get after it. Let's see what we can do on these parts. We got all of the parts cleaned up, 100%, good to go. This engine girdle or cradle, I think people call it, this is the one for the new block. So I believe this surface right here is machined along with the block. So I'm keeping this with the new block. The old block I'll be keeping with the old girdle. I think all the mounting points would be the same for all the accessories from like 08 to 15. So I don't have to worry about anything there. I do need to pull these pistons off the rods. I will be reusing these manly I-beam rods for this build. There's no sense in replacing these. I'll be obviously doing new bearings there. Technically I could reuse these th three pistons here just cause they're still in perfect, 100% perfect condition. One thing you need to keep in mind is you have to keep the rod cap 
with the rod itself. So I will be marking every single rod and cap together because those are bored out together. The cap and the rod are bored out together. So you gotta keep those together there. Same concept on the head and the block as well. So on the head, all of these cam caps have to go in the same exact location and orientation that you pull them off in. So that one's facing forward and that's one, two, three, four. Just wherever they came off guys, make sure you put them back in the same location. Same with the block as well. To get the piston off the rod, there's this little circlip in here you're gonna pop out. You can either use needle nose pliers or like I'm using here, just a really small flathead screwdriver and that circlip should pop out. That is what the circlip looks like when you remove it. To get the wrist pin out, flip the piston over and you should be able to grab like some sort of extension. I like to use an extension bar and you can just tap that wrist pin right out of there. Pretty much the only thing we can do from here is wait for all the new parts to come in. The parts that I am replacing, of course, all the gaskets on the motor, main bearings, I'll be going with the ACL race, just like last time, same with, same with the rod bearings as well, ACL race there. ARP head studs, ARP main bolts, ARP rod bolts, I'll be using the manly I-beams again, most likely CP pistons once again. Pretty much the same exact build as last time, we just have to wait for all of those parts to come in. As soon as they show up, we can go drop the block off to get reboard, have the crank polished, the rods polished, the head gone through. I just want this to be a brand new motor once again and not worry about anything. So we, that's all we have to do, wait for the parts to come in. There is one thing I wanted to clear up. I know in a few videos ago, when I pulled the head off, one of the pistons looked cleaner than the rest, which was piston three. The, the cylinder that did have the detonation issue. That piston was not that clean when I pulled the head off, guys. Uh, if it was, that would be a major concern. It would mean that cylinder was probably running lean, but I, I personally cleaned that piston off with brake cleaner just to assess the damage on the top of the piston. So no, it did not come out of the motor like that. That was my cleaning. I know there's a bunch of concerns in the comments a few days ago, and I totally forgot to address it in the last video, but no, that was for me. I cleaned the piston up, so that cylinder was not running lean. Um, yeah. Evo will be back up and running hopefully soon, hopefully within I'm gonna say hopefully within two weeks because it'll probably take a week to get the parts in, a few days for the machine shop, a few days for me to assemble the motor, and probably a day to get the motor back in the car. So here's how it currently looks. She's looking a little bit sad. Honestly, it still looks good. It still looks good just like this. I'm gonna, I miss this car so much right now. I've been daily driving Bobby's old Forester just because the truck gets really bad gas mileage. Hasn't been nice enough to ride. I think it's probably nice enough to ride today. My street bike, Evo. 8 is not tuned. It needs to be tuned for the new injectors. And the STI, I guess I could daily drive that, but the Forester just gets really good gas mileage, so I've been driving that. But soon the 10 will be back up and running and we can be back to daily driving my baby. I freaking love that car. It's gonna be a sad day when I get rid of it. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but obviously I'm not gonna keep this car for my whole life. It's gonna be a very, very sad day when this car goes back to stock to be sold. Peace out guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out. Oh, by the way, the next video is going to be installing new wheels on the STI. Stay tuned for that. Peace.